This is the program that we just created. It was simple. You hit the start button and you get a smiley face and a small little beep. Uh, as simple as it is, it shows you uh, a light and a sound command and also an event command. The first one there is the event command when program starts. The light command is to turn on smiley face and the purple play beep is a sound command. What I want to show you here though is a lot of the options that we have just within that one thing there. Right? If you look at that you can see where the smiley face is and I can make them all dark. Now this slider on the right tells me what brightness to make. If I keep it at the highest brightness I could make a plus sign. I don't know why unless I wanted to do some math, but you never know. Now you've got, oops, camera, a plus sign on here instead of the smiley face that we saw. So you can draw anything that you want if you can do a little bit of pixel art. Right? This is a 5x5 five five grid. You can see it right there, 5x5 five five grid. Um, and we'll learn how to use that a little bit more. So let me go back home and show you a project that I've been working on. I call it Alert. And it is, it's pretty long. Well, it's not too long. As a matter of fact, all of this is some garbage I forgot to throw away before. So what I have here is I have two of these events that I started when the program starts. On the left-hand side, if you look carefully, you can see what I'm doing is I'm moving some stuff about the screen, lines of dots with one dot that's a little less bright. Let me show you an example. If I click the down arrow here, you see three bright dots in the second column, right in the middle three uh, cells of that column. And then all the way on the right, you see a little light gray dot. And on the right hand side, I have just some sounds. Right? And we've already seen how to use light and sound. I'm just using some more advanced ones and more complex ones. So let me show you what this program does. So just something very simple and basic where I made it look like three dots were coming after this other one is trying to escape and there's an alarm going and then there's like a dun 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 I like it. I think it's pretty cool. So I did that when I clicked new project. You want to do word box to start. the event where it says when program starts is already there and all the way on the left hand side I've got my light commands now there's different ones you can use and you can choose whatever you want I stuck with just this one and I repeated it over and over I would clear it by doing that and then I would start to put whatever shape I wanted if I wanted those three dots to start over here and then I wanted to make a little bit of a um, lighter one start over here. That's all I did, right? And now if I was to play that, you wouldn't see much except that. But that's the beginning. Then I just had these move over. So after waiting some time, I have to go to control all the way on the left. And up there at the top is a wait. And let's say I wanted to wait one second. It's already at one second. I can take that turn on, but instead of all the way on the left, I can just go one, two, three, and I can, oops, I didn't mean to do that. I can take them and do them in the next one and put that guy there. All right, and now when I do this, After one second, the line moves over. Okay, and then I added the sound. I went to events. And I took out when program starts and go to sounds. Now the sounds you're going to have some fun with. Okay, so I, you can do um, beeps of any sort here, right? And those will play on your hub. 
the actual sounds play on your iPad because the robot is not fancy enough to do that. But let me show you all the sounds you can do. Cat Meow is the default. But you've got a heck of a lot of sounds, including we are in middle school. <coughs> fart one, <coughs> fart two, <coughs> and fart three. <coughs> And if you choose one of them, you can also edit it. And you're going to take the echo off. I don't know how to take the echo off. Add an echo. You can speed it up and if a particular sound is too long you can hit trim and you can shorten that sound. That sounds pretty awful at this point but I've just messed it up too much so save and now when I click the down arrow dun 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 is right below cat's meow clearly I would go back and edit that but I just wanted to show you how you can play around with some of these sounds so your job is going to be to do the following, and this is written in the success criteria and in the actual um, module in Canvas. Specifically, I want you to create some sort of picture and sound event on your hub. It could be a smiley face that winks at you or blinks. It could be uh, something flying by. It could be things moving around. You could play like that snake game where things are sliding all over the place. You need to have movement and sounds and different color lights and not like green, red, orange, but like light yellow, dark yellow, medium yellow, bright yellow, that sort of thing. Um, and that's all that you have to do. You can choose what you want to do, but it needs to be recognizable to your instructor as either a picture or a design and not just something random. And the music that you choose should go with the um, design that you make on the screen. Okay, if you have any questions, please ask your instructor. I'm sure that they will go over this with you. Thank you.